Hey everyone, this is Jordan from Madtown Studios. Welcome back to another Drawing the Facts video. Uh, and a delayed one at that. But I'm here to give you some new facts. But before I begin, if you are new to the channel and would like to see more from Madtown, tap the subscribe button down below. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and share. All right. Let's get right in and begin to dissect this topic. Today, we're going to discover some facts about the pandemic virus known as COVID-19. This is Drawing the Facts, the night versus the virus. So, to start things off, let's talk a little history on the disease itself. So COVID-19 was first identified in Wuhan, China on December of last year. For COVID-19, most people would have mild symptoms. However, though, it could also spread to becoming a severe illness and even cause of death. One of the top groups to be really infected by this are elderly folks and people with underlying medical conditions. The name itself is actually pretty interesting. Back in February 11th of this year, the World Health Organization announced an official name for the disease. In the term of COVID-19, CO stands for Corona, and VI would stand for Virus, and D would stand for Disease. The name Coronavirus was actually named for the crown-like spikes on their surfaces. And are a large family of viruses that are common in people and with many different species of animals, most specifically mammal creatures like cats and bats. Other types of human coronaviruses include a commonly caused mild upper respiratory tract illnesses. However though, this is a new disease caused by a novel or new coronavirus. Two other earlier viruses were called the mers cov and sars cov However though, all three have something in common, in which case their origin derives from bats. The sequence from U.S. patients are similar to the one in China initially posted, suggesting a likely single recent emergence of this virus from an animal. So SARS-CoV-2 made a jump to humans at one of Wuhan's open air wet markets. Some of the animals sold at this market are happen to be wild or banned species, including cobras, wild boars, and raccoon dogs. Crowded conditions can also let viruses from different animals swap genes. And sometimes, the virus changes so much that it can start to infect and spread among people. <coughs> As I mentioned earlier, bats are one of the animals that can cause and spread diseases. However though, they weren't the real cause of the outbreak. Instead, that title calls to 
the pegalons, also known as scaly anteaters, which were sold illegally in some markets in China. And some coronaviruses that affect pangolins are similar to the SARS-CoV-2. As SARS-CoV-2 spread both inside and outside of China, it infected people who have had no direct contact with animals. That meant that the virus can be transmitted from one human to the next, and now spread into the U.S. and around the globe which means that people are unwittingly catching and passing on the coronavirus, which of course caused the big pandemic of 2020. Since the detection of this virus, since dating back all the way to the 60s, the most effect that it actually had on people were similar to the common cold. But in 2019 to 2020, things have completely changed. All right, starting out pretty well. I wanted to spend some time to actually talk a little bit about as to why I wanted to talk about this topic. And one, I'm actually trying to deal with this drawing. Well, the reason why I want to talk about COVID-19 is because, well, it's had an effect on everything, on everyone. And maybe not the disease itself, but definitely how it has um, impacted, you know, everyone's daily life. From, you know, the government restrictions to, to uh, regulations that you need to take and to not prevent it it's very crazy and it's hard to really ignore or to uh, pass over so I figured why not look up into this and find some facts that some of you might not even know about that I don't even know about but of course I'm pretty sure most of you probably know some of these facts already especially these past 11 months. And as for the drawing itself, I really wanted to do something to really tackle, well, really destroy uh, this really annoying pest, which is COVID. And I thought it'd be pretty cool if uh, Knight in Shiny Armor came in and vanquished his foe once and for all. And of course, this knight right here is someone you probably already know. Very important people in our daily lives. Okay, so now that we talked about what coronavirus is, what can it actually do to you? And what effect has it had on society? So COVID-19 is a virus that affects the body by entering healthy cells. They're invaders that make copies of itself and multiply throughout your body. With recent studies on this virus, it has spiky surface proteins to receptors on healthy cells, especially those in your lungs. The viral proteins bust into cells through ACE2 receptors. Once they get inside, the coronavirus hijacks healthy cells and takes command. Then, Surely enough, it will kill some of those healthy cells. And so you know how this past months people have been telling you to wear a mask, wear a mask, wear a mask? Well, here's why. COVID-19 starts with droplets 
from an infected person's cough, sneeze, or just breathing. They could be in the air or on a surface that you touch before touching your eyes, nose, or mouth. That will give the virus a passage to the mucous membranes in your throat. In about two to probably 14 days, your immune system may respond to the systems. And you'll know if you have these symptoms right here. This includes fever, a cough, shortness in breath, or having trouble breathing, fatigue, shakes and chills, body aches, headaches, a sore throat, congestion, or just a runny nose, loss of taste and smell, nausea or vomiting, and diarrhea. These symptoms comes off as pretty similar if you caught a flu. But the virus does move down to your respiratory tract. And that of course is the gateway of all air, including mouth, nose, throat, and lungs. Your lower airways have more ACE2 receptors than the rest of your respiratory tract. So, COVID-19 will more likely go deeper than viruses like the common cold. So some of these symptoms are not to be dismissed too easily. Other symptoms that you should be aware of is if your lungs felt like they were on fire, making it tough for you to breathe. This can lead to pneumonia, which we don't know, is an infection of tiny air sacs called alveoli, which are inside your lungs where your blood exchanges oxygen and carbon dioxide. A way of knowing that you have this virus is if a doctor takes a, a CT scan on your chest. If you see shadows or patchy areas, those are called ground glass opacities. Now for some people, symptoms might end with just a cough and a fever. And there have been more to eight to 10 cases that are just mild. But as I mentioned before, this infection can get pretty bad. Practically deadly. About five to eight days after symptoms begin, you'll have a shortness of breath known as dyspnea. Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome, also known as RDS, can cause a rapid breathing, a fast heart rate, as well as dizziness and a lot of sweating. It damages the tissues and blood vessels in your alveoli, causing debris to collect inside them. This makes it harder or even just impossible to breathe, which is why some patients need a ventilator. And it doesn't stop there, as when fluid collects in your lungs, they carry less oxygen to your blood. And not enough blood means very little oxygen to survive. This can cause your kidney, lungs, and liver to shut down and stop working. Not everyone who has COVID has serious complications, and not everyone may need medical care. But if your symptoms include trouble breathing, then get help right away. Now that you know about the effects of the disease itself, let's talk a little bit about how it affects us in our day-to-day -day lives. Infected or non-infected? Well, ordered by the CDC, 
people are now having to follow some guidelines to prevent the spread of COVID-19. One of them being social distancing, which will just be uh, six feet or about two arms length uh, separation from another person. This has led to some self quarantines all the way on to state lockdowns, which I'll get into in a bit. Another mandate is wearing masks. Masks, masks, masks. Everywhere is just masks this year. Well, as I said before, coughing, sneezing, and breathing can spread the germs up into the air, which will also spread and will, well, of course, might get other sick. So masks are helped to prevent all this. As well as just some common hygiene, including washing your hands with soap and water and avoiding touching your face. But some people, if not most people in this year, had been very prepared to the extreme. So much so that this nervousness of the coronavirus has led to things such as the great toilet paper shortage. With people being ordered to stay at home because of business closings, as well as shelters in place orders, the demands for consumer of toilet paper has skyrocketed. And even right now, in late November, there has been a high number of cases of those affected by COVID-19, as well as those lost from the disease. But the effect from COVID doesn't stop there with toilet paper. At least 55.1 million students in the United States were affected by this. That's about 124,000 public and private schools were closed. Between September and October, some schools were actually beginning to open up, including from states like Texas and Florida and Arkansas. However, though, mostly remained partially closed to no order. And what about the businesses? Well, there's actually a study from March 28th to April 4th on how many small businesses were closed due to the pandemic. It's been calculated about 5,800 small businesses were closed. And while there's been a 43% of small businesses that have been temporarily closed, the decline was particularly big in mid-Atlantic regions, which includes New York City. In which case, 54% firms were closed and employment was down by 47%. This was also hard on younger folks who were trying to get into the job market, especially coming out of school. Which I can relate, definitely. The recent numbers I gave you was actually from a survey. There's others, including from Yelp, in which case over 140,104 businesses were marked temporarily closed. And more than 97,966 businesses have permanently shut down, which are reports from Yelp. In terms of employment, rate has fallen down to 6.9% since October. About 6.8% of whites, 10.8% of blacks, 7.6% of Asians, and 8.8% of Hispanics.
And of course, with all these shutdowns and lockdowns and, well, state regulations, this has also affected people's mental health. Since 2018 to August 2020, the suicide rate has risen from 10.7 to 25.5% for young adults. As for all ages, it went from 4.3 to 11%. So yeah, this year hasn't been too good for both the sick and the healthy. Businesses, education, employment, as well as the mental mind has been impacted because of COVID-19. But it doesn't mean that there's no hope. Okay, looks like I'm almost done. Look, it's going pretty well. Now, I kind of want to talk a bit more about the drawing and some of the decisions I'm making uh, for what I want it to be. So as I mentioned before, I want to do a drawing of a knight or a hero vanquishing uh, this terrible disease. <laughs> and the thing that really popped in my mind will be a perfect person to take down this spiky creature is a doctor medical doctor so I want to combine a a knight with a doctor pretty much and that's what you have right here um, I've given him the um, medical sign and I want to make sure that the colors really do differentiate each other from the knight character from the COVID-19 creature COVID, just because it is a, of course, a virus and the worst thing that happened in 2020, and made sure that it was very, um, this had this color as representing evil. So, uh, of course, just using black and adding some red to it, I really helped. And plus, I that too, but uh, looking at some pictures of COVID 19 itself, it's pretty accurate. And as for the knight himself, I wanted him to be just fierce, angry, just ready to just smite the COVID-19. And I really love the pose that I did for him. Hopefully you do too. And of course his colors had to be a lot more lighter um, with the grays, silver, and the blues and whites. But the one thing, of course, he shares with the creature is the red on his, um, in the middle, on the sign. But yeah, I wanted to make it uh, as epic as I can without adding too much into this drawing. Now, I may have packed a lot of, uh, doom and gloom in terms of the effects of COVID-19. However though, this doesn't mean that it's all over. Especially what's to come ahead for next year. There are, since March, some treatments and preventions in terms of avoiding the spread of COVID-19 as well as what to do when you have some signs of COVID. Coming from the CDC sites, here are some things to do in terms of self-care if you are possibly or confirmed to have COVID. These steps include staying at home, except to get medical care, 
monitoring your symptoms carefully, getting rest and stay hydrated, drinking plenty of water. If you have a medical appointment, notify your healthcare provider ahead of time. Specific room away from other people in your home. Now how about the medical treatments? Well from CDC, they have mentioned to stay in touch with your doctor and call before you get medical care. Your local health authorities will give you instructions on how to check your symptoms and report information. And any treatment that are used for COVID-19 should be taken under the care of a healthcare provider. Now that's all good information, but what about actual medicine? Well, on October 22nd, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has confirmed that there was an antiviral drug called Victory that will be used in adults and pediatric patients 12 years of age and older and weighing at least 40 kilograms for the treatment of COVID requiring for hospitalization. But one of the biggest news to come out recently was on November 24th, in which case an antibody treatment for COVID-19 Working alongside Pfizer, there have been two drugs, one made by Regeneron, hope I pronounced that right, and by Eli Lilly. However though, these drugs are shown to be very limited, which begs the question to which patients will receive it first. Especially evolving new cases coming out this month. One of the people that were cured with these drugs were Donald Trump and Ben Carson. On November 9th, it's been stated that over more than 90% were affected of this new drug. The pharmaceutical giant and its German biotech partner BioNTech announced the final results of their 41,000 person clinical trial. It's been stated that this cure will be coming out late in February. So cross your fingers for that. But as some folks, including those from CDC as mentioned before, keeping social distancing, wearing masks, having good hygiene, such as washing your hands daily, as well as using sanitizers and wiping surfaces daily could help prevent it. But another thing too that is really helpful during these times is coping. Most people in the world right now are pretty much facing the same thing and that will be stress and high anxieties. As mentioned earlier on, it could be from stress of a loved one who has contracted COVID losing financial support or a job, also including the changes of sleeping or eating patterns, losing focus and concentration, worsening of chronic health as well as mental health, and some other outside substances. But here's just some possible solutions as to how to get through these hard times. One includes having a hobby. Starting something like art or music. 
something you're able to build and create to ease your mind. Another way of easing your mind is taking a breath, stretching and meditating. Maybe try eating a better balanced diet. Exercise is also shown to be very important. Getting a good jog and really getting that good fitness. Having plenty of sleep can also help and reducing other outside substances, including alcohol and drugs. Find some time to unwind, connect with others, whether it be through a call or through Zoom. Also, don't forget to support your local businesses, including the restaurants next to you. Order in a takeout. That could really help. Well, here it is. My knight in medical armor battling the COVID-19 virus. I hope you got some knowledge from this video or at least enjoy the video because this is going to be my last one. Well, kind of. You see, I'll be uploading some of our content on my new channel, Pencil Inc. I'll be moving drawing the facts to this new site. So you can catch all new videos in 2021. And there you can also watch some drawing tutorials and more. So please, support both channels. Link is down below. But until then, make sure that you're subscribed. Click that like button and check out our social media. I will catch all you folks next time. And remember to stay happy and stay healthy. Peace for now.